Good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the vlog. Now first of all I want to apologize. I know it's Monday and I did not vlog a single moment of the entire weekend. Now I'm not making excuses by the way. I really did not have the time. Not now turning on the camera and speaking about whatever takes about I don't know let's say two minutes. I did not have that two minutes to, to, to tell you guys what I'm doing. It was hectic the entire weekend. We were working, we were scrubbing walls, fixing the roofs. Uh, what's it called? 20. Recently I've been thinking, oh wait, no, let's, this thing is making a racket. So let's just put that on silent. Thank you very much. So I've been thinking lately, why am I doing this? Why am I filming my life? Why am I talking into the camera like an idiot? Well, the short answer is it's fun. It's really fun doing this and looking back at your previous videos and the previous days. I mean, there's an old saying that goes, every day seems so similar, but when you look back, everything looks different. And that's why vlogging is so special. You can go back to your old videos and you can see what the hell you were doing. Another reason why I am doing this is because I don't have a lavish life. And I want to prove to you guys that you can still vlog, you can still make an entertaining video without having expensive things. I want to prove to you guys that everyday life can be fun. You just have to choose to see it. It's the small things that you gotta enjoy. A lot of times at night, I don't know what to do. Like when everybody is sleeping, I'm just sitting there like, all right, now what? I'm not tired. What the hell do I do? I don't want to play video games. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to watch YouTube. So what do, what do I do? And I find that vlogging is a beautiful thing that fixes that. So late at night or early in the morning most times when I have nothing to do, then I just edit this video and it's really fun doing that. And like imagine if YouTube keeps on for another like I don't know 100 years <laughs> and I'm like 120 years old, you can, I can look back and think oh what the hell was I doing there? I mean I'm, I'm still a kid, I'm stupid, I'm naive, I have so much more to learn and it's fun knowing that you are documenting that entire process and like I said we have work to do well I have to wash some rugs again today and fix some walls <laughs> that's like a saying on my channel now let's fix some walls I'm gonna put on my shoes and then let the work begin wait a minute on second thought before we start working how about a swim All right, so that's swimming done. And that's our hair done. All right, guys, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to take all these mats and then we go wash them outside. Let's get started. All right, so these are all the mats that needs to be washed. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, that's probably going to take like, what, seven minutes? No, I'm kidding, probably like <laughs> an hour and on the vlog it's just going to be like what five seconds yeah you guys are so lucky you only get five seconds of my suffering where i get like one hour so uh. oh all right guys just a quick update i'm finished with about half of them and uh, yeah <laughs> i'm absolutely exhausted and i'm hot as a fire like i can feel my arms like burning from the sun my heart beat in the night a burning star across the sky all this work is making me tired as heck so you know what this calls for cereal time pretty good pretty good guys i'm not tired i'm dead there is a distinct difference. I'm quickly going to clean my brother's old room and clean the walls. Just take a couple of seconds. So one, two, three. I think it looks alright. I still have to paint the walls and everything but other than that... Guys, I think my snaps are leveling up. My snap is currently, I think, level four. Let's aim for level six. Just imagine a level six snap, guys. At the snap of a finger, the entire house is clean. All right, hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. I just had a shower, I'm refreshed. So let's quickly take a look at today's topic. Now today's topic is whether or not Angelica Olez is a bully or not. And guys, I have no idea whether she is or not. I don't know how to think of this. 
So that is why I am making this video so that you guys can tell me because I don't know what to think All right, so let's start with the good things of Angelica. All right, so it's clear that she's been hustling All right, she's been doing this for quite a time now if you look at her history and her previous video like she's done reaction videos in the past and it didn't work quite for her she wasn't happy with the content so she switched it up you know figure out what's working what's not working so she's determined to be successful and um, she's doing this for quite a while and the fact that she's doing what she is doing is just because it gets traffic it gets people to click people view her stuff now in my opinion she is a good youtuber all right she's very funny she's actually fun to watch i figured it's very easy to start binge watching her videos just absolutely thrashing people and their uh, their channels but i think that's the problem before we start with the problems though she also has like inside jokes with her community like the the whole cis thing and uh, there's a tea thing as well i don't know there's many inside jokes and memes and it's just funny <laughs> overall if you look at her videos from a satire point of view then everything i say might be irrelevant but that's the thing i don't think it's satire but then again tell me what you think i might be completely wrong so here is the issue all right it's very entertaining for us people like you and me to to be entertained by other people getting thrashed and i don't think that's a good thing because imagine for a second being the guy or the gal being thrashed all right it's not it, it can't be fun i don't think poking fun at people over the fact that they are not famous anymore is helping their situation in any meaningful way and just think for a moment these these people that was at a time very popular and that are now irrelevant it must be horrible making fun of them is not helping them i'm currently watching a series of road to irrelevancy and uh, this particular episode where she talks about tyler oakley specifically caught my attention now let's just get one thing straight all right everything that she says is true all right she she never lied not at least not that i know of and everything she says is 100 percent true all right she is just stating the facts now first of all let me just say the fact that people like tyler oakley became irrelevant i think that's extremely sad and that's very unfortunate because it's not as if they chose to become irrelevant tyler oakley did not wake up one morning and said listen all right i don't want to be relevant anymore stop watching my videos no that's not the case he did not ask for this all right so let me give you guys an example let's compare the tyler oakley situation to a fat guy and i am allowed to make this comparison because i was obese for the better part of my life and i chose to become a better person all right so let's take a look at this fat person yes you are saying and making fun of him over the fact that he is overweight yes you are stating the facts true but that does not make it right i'm sure if the fat guy can just be skinny in in a moment he would have done that i think someone's at my door all right i'm back turns out it was just my brother i think but yeah where was i so oh yeah tyler oakley so i'm sure if tyler oakley could have just turned his life around and make himself relevant again and guide traffic to his channel then of course he would have done that but obviously he can't and i don't think making fun of him is going to diffuse his bad situation how does that help him guys you need to realize it took tyler a massive amount of time to become where he is today remember becoming a good and consistent youtuber does not happen overnight it took him immense effort to be what he is today and i think we must respect that even though he is irrelevant yes but i think he still needs to be respected for what he is and what he represents so let's go back to the fat guy telling telling him how fat he is is not going to help him in any way making fun of him is not going to help him i've been there i can tell you you might say oh but but making fun of him is going to 
get him to exercise. No, that's not how it works. If anything, if people poked fun at me in school, then I was demotivated completely. I didn't want to do anything. It made me miserable. What I'm trying to say is that what comes around goes around. All right. Every single determined YouTuber is going to start somewhere. He is going to gain traffic. He is going to become a very successful and then he's going to go down again. That's just how it works. Every runaway success YouTuber is going to become irrelevant at some stage. Take Angelica herself. She is a very successful, I mean the numbers speak for themselves. Angelica now has 116,000 subscribers and I'm very grateful for her. But she is also going to be very successful one day and then she is also going to become irrelevant like every youtuber and i'm sure that angelica is not going to like it when people make fun of her one day when she also becomes irrelevant now i'm not saying that she is going to become irrelevant soon that's not what i'm saying i'm just saying that's how youtube works you can't gain popularity forever that's not how it works you are going to come down there are only so many people on youtube you are not going to like one color for your entire life that's not how it works but guys like i said the entire reason why i am making this video is so that you guys can tell me whether i'm just being a complete idiot and what i'm saying is com completely stupid though this is just my opinion now i want you guys to tell me is she just stating the facts all right or is she giving constructive criticism or am i just being an idiot so yeah that's it for the angelica debacle let's move on all right guys so i have a small problem all right so i want to exercise again i want to go for a run but I also need to visit a friend. I thought the solution would be to maybe go for a run, but let's make the destination the friend's house. Ah, you see, I'm genius. I think it's going to be a three kilometer run, so it's going to be going to be quite hard in this heat, but uh, hey, let's do this. All right guys, so let the run begin and I'll see you guys at the friend's house. Now walking past my high school brings a lot of good memories, a lot of bad memories, made lots of friends, lost lots of friends. Good times, good times, what can I say? Oh guys, we made it. We ran 2.5 kilometers in 22 minutes, not bad if you ask me. Oh, where is this person? This is what I can feel as a good high school. All right guys, I'm back, I made it. We did 2.6 kilometers in 21 minutes. Oh, we're doing good boys. We're doing good. So essentially we ran five kilometers in 40 minutes If not a little more than that, so I'm happy with that. We are not finished We are now going to go and paint the place and I'm already dead. So I don't know what I'm going to do <laughs> Stop till the sun